everybody looks into swirl new day new cup project i'm going to try something a little different for me today um i have i have a cup <laughs> i sanded it washed it spray painted it matte black and i have applied two layers of aline's tack it over and over and let both layers dry so it is now dry but tacky i'm going to move this over for a second while i explain the rest of this now here's what I've never done before. I have these Aurora holographic flakes from Woody's Goodies. I have, let's see, five, 10, 12 of them. And uh, I got these a while ago and I, I used them in a uh, mica layered, a layered mica hatching video where I mix it into resin. I mixed each one of these into a little bit of resin and then I tried to put the parallel hatching lines uh, of that technique onto a cup. And it, it didn't work very well for a number of reasons. But anyway, the point is I still have all these. And something I have not done, but I've seen other people do, like raised turquoise turtle, for example, is they take mica and they put it on a tacket tumbler and then they burnish it. And the, the look is beautiful from what I've seen. I just never tried to do it myself. So I'm going to give it a try today. Part of my question, my personal question is how am I going to best apply these micas? I'm going to take it off of this thing because it's making all sorts of noise. And I don't know. I don't know how to get it on there. If I use a brush, and I do have a small one, that might work. My other option is to open. Obviously, I'm going to have to do that. This, no matter what, I'm going to have to open them, is to get some on my fingers and try and put that on and burnish it. And that may not work very well. I may end up going with a little brush. I will list all of these by their name in the description area below. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to go through it here. I may tell you this first one. This is when life hands you a Jeffrey. And I, you know, there are lots of these that I, I get. I get the reference. Uh, they all float down here. I get that. Um, I triple dog dare you. I, Get that. I've been saying that most of my life. Uh, this one I don't get. Say my name, Heisenberg, you're goddamn right. I don't get that at all. Clearly I haven't seen some of the things that these reference. That's irrelevant. I will list the names of all of this below and I'm not sure I'm gonna use all 12, honestly. But I want to put these in basically patches I mean, I want the whole cup covered, but I want different colors in different places. So we're gonna see what we get. That's, I mean, that's all I'm gonna do is just brush these on and see how it looks. And then when I'm done, hopefully burnish everything down. And we'll end up with something that looks like a very fancy patchwork, I'm hoping. Or something like that. I mean, look at the difference between what you see in here, which is pink, and what you see on the cup. Isn't that amazing? Just putting it on black. It's pretty phenomenal. So I'm just going to go around and do this. And I'm going to fast mow and mute it. I have had a couple folks request music. I'm probably not going to do that. I'm not a big music fan in people's DIY craft related videos. I, I just, I end up muting the video and then I potentially miss something they're saying. And uh, I just, I would just prefer no music at all. I know some people are irritated by that. I apologize, but I'm, I guess I'm sort of doing my video the way I wish videos were. <laughs> Cause this is the only one I have control over is, is my video. Um, I just, I just don't think music is necessary to watch a tutorial. It just, that makes no sense to me at all. Uh, but you know, in this day and age we're in, people glue to their phones all the time. Maybe music is just required for everything now. I don't know, sort of a TikTok thing. Cause they make you, I mean, when I upload a TikTok video, I believe I'm required to either do a voiceover or attach music to it. Again, makes no sense to me, but you know, I'm old. We've established that, I believe. I'm old. Here we go, real fast mo.
Well, probably one more and then that'll be... <laughs> I'm running out of room. Let's see, we have Hello Clarice. I get that reference. We have Mom, the meatloaf. Don't get that reference other than having yelled it in my childhood, probably. And Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. That's from my youth. I get that one completely. Let's try some Marsha. Just a little bit of space left, and then I will be burnishing to see. I don't know if that'll make any, any more difference or not. Just plug up a couple of holes here. Looks pretty, though, doesn't it? see much left. All right, I think I've covered all the tacket. So now, I don't know if burnishing, I'm going to take my ring off. I don't know if burnishing will add anything extra. I mean, I was already um, being pretty firm with the brush, so. But there are some pieces sticking up, so this will get, get rid of those. And I'll be very pretty sparkly. Yay. All right. That is one... Beautiful looking cup. <laughs> wow, I really like that. All right, I tell you what, next step, I'm gonna put resin on it. <sighs> Maybe one layer of sealer, one layer. And then uh, I'll bring you back for the resining and we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, I am going to put a layer of resin on this. I am gonna mix Marabou Rainbow Alcohol Ink into it. Uh, otherwise it will be clear with the rainbow sparkle. Nothing else added. I'm going to use my KS Liquid Stone Ultra UV Resin. And then after it cures overnight, we will look at it out in the sunshine and, you know, see how it turned out. So I'm going to suit up all that stuff, sit back and enjoy the show. And we're back. Let's see how this beautiful thing looks under resin. Ooh, oh wow. Man, I tell you, the shifts on this baby. We don't have sun yet. That's coming later. <laughs> it's pretty early in the morning. We'll get some daylight here though. Look at that, holy cow. Look at the shifts. This has marabou uh, rainbow sparkles in it, but honestly, I can't even see those. It's just so totally overwhelmed in a good way <laughs> by all the Aurora micas. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how much it changes every time I move it. That is just one of the most beautiful things I think I've ever seen. Wow. Here's our, our bottom. You know what, I'm, I'm going to make an executive decision here and not put a decal on this. I think it's too beautiful to put anything on it. If somebody wanted to buy it uh, and have their name on it, that would, be, that would be absolutely, totally fine, obviously. But I'm not going to put a decal on this. I'm just going to leave it this way. I think it's stunning as is. Wow, purple to teal to red to gold to green. Oh my God, I love it. I just love it. Now, if you can think of a decal or a saying or something 
that you think belongs here. And I don't know, a Doctor Who thing or a Star Trek thing or Star Wars thing. I do know the difference, believe me. <laughs> I'm a Trekkie from way back in the 60s. Anyway, if you can think of something that goes here that you think fits, please let me know down in the comments section. I love hearing from you and I love new ideas. But I'm going to leave this as is for now. We will take it out in the sun and we will look at it one last time there. See what that does for all the beautiful shifts and sparkles. So stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in the next video, but don't go away.